Welcome to the technology show that has no title. This is episode number two, where we're going to be talking about the iPhone 4S, Google Buzz, and also something interesting with Samsung and Apple that you might not have known. So first, for starters, Apple iPhone 4S, the new feature is Surrey. This crazy woman who will do anything for you and she's trapped in your phone. Um, the feature sounds pretty cool. I saw some testimonials, people saying it was great. So far it works for them. I heard it on the radio this morning. So all things look good. I was gonna try it myself. Siri, please give me Google Maps. Do it yourself, you lazy bastard. So anyways, um, onto the iPhone 4S. It's been selling well. I was actually downtown right near the protest in New York City. You had the iPhone 4S people who did not give a shit about the protest. And across the street, you had people yelling, fuck Wall Street. <laughs> so you had the two dynamics going head to head. But you know what? When people want a new phone, they're going to get their new phone and they're not going to give a shit about a protest. Even if the population wants to change the world, they're not going to change people from wanting their new iPhone. And that didn't stop anything. There could have been a meteor hitting the earth and those people wouldn't have got off the line. I went up to one lady and said, are you here for the iPhone 4S? And I said, did you know a protest is going on? She did not give a shit about the protest. She was there for her iPhone 4S and she was more than happy to stand there while people were freaking out across the street. Samsung and Apple. What the fuck? I had no idea that in the next iPhone, Samsung and Apple have a deal where a Samsung chip is going to be used. I wonder what the Apple fans are going to say next. They're walking around with the fucking Samsung phones, what they're going to say. Um, in other news, Google Buzz, there is no more Buzz. So if you're into that feature in Gmail in the last year, that is going to be phased out. Google made a press release the other day saying they're not going to be using it anymore and they're going to take it away. For all the things like Google creates, including Gmail, Google Translate, Google Documents, um, Analytics, Google Voice, Android, um, you name it, you know, uh, Google creates it, the Google search, of course, like, that way it's known for. for YouTube now, because they're responsible for YouTube by buying it out. You know, for everything that Google creates, I think they have a more than uh, just a reason for removing a feature. For today, we're giving Google a pass for all the amazing features and free stuff that we get from Google. And it looks like they're concentrating on Google Plus now. So it's a smart move for them. I think that um, in the long run, anything that you don't use or people who are not using, it's just a waste of space and it just makes them look bad. If you guys didn't hear, uh, uh, RIM users, BlackBerry uh, fans, were without their phone for a little bit because the whole network went down from a satellite issue. These people were fucking freaking out. I gotta tell you something, to all the BlackBerry users that were complaining that day for not having service for what, maybe a day or half a day or whatever the frick it was, try being a T-Mobile user for nine years. Damn you, T-Mobile. So BlackBerry users, calm down. It was only for a day. You have your network back and you'll probably love your service in the future. So that's it. That's episode number two of the technology show that has no title. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.